could be a riot. I don't read the news, but please be. Right, these are the minis we're going to be looking at as well, folks. Club and Cooper S. Mini Cooper. You'll be surprised what you can do with these little cars. And then we go to the JDM side of the garage. This is going to be the main thing on the car, which will be this uh, Nissan Proxa GTIR Series 2B. What I'm going to do at the moment is I'm not going to really do a show to we'll get the cars car properly out into the uh, open. Um, then we can give you a We've got some heart racing wheels on, proper JDM wheels. Just let me turn this radio off. Stupid news. Shut up. Right, so here we go. Yeah, electric folding mirrors. Just give you a basic talk on it, what we found out. We don't think we've got any decent... It's got what looks like newish um, coil holders on it. Uh, probably not been used in a while. Like I said, the car is absolutely immaculate. The old spittles of uh, rust we found on it, but nothing even worth what needed treating. I just basically, because it was on the surface, I just buffed it off with a with a wet and dry. What we found under the bonnet, around the engine, but nothing on the actual chassis or bodywork. Uh, like I said, it's got all sorts of bits of trick bits on it, like Nismo steering wheel which is definitely period. We've got all sorts of little air and fuel meters. We've got um, the Japanese radio still in it as well. Uh, let's see if we can focus in on that. Yeah, it's, I think it's Panasonic. Yeah. We even found a Nismo seat belt. Um, whatever you call it. That was shoved in, in the boot somewhere. When you put it over your shoulder on the seat belts, it, it does send his more, trust me. But it's, it's that old, I think it's just blown away. OEM gear knob. Uh, and like I said, heart racing wheels on it, so it's really. The centre caps. I've made some centre caps to be honest, um, which I can show you now. What I've just knocked up for now, to be honest, until we can maybe source some uh, source some authentic ones from Japan. Well, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to find some time to make a, a video for you. Quick look around my garden. Garden of. Uh, detailing stuff and that stuff whatever you bullet here for shine armor is good stuff ceramic polish uh, interior stuff for it there and I've tried the scratch uh, that's auto bright I think that's really good stuff as well for light cars and we have tried this as well a recent purchase which is good for trim dodo juice and trim is Maguire's and you can see I've had to use angel wax as well um, but all this stuff what Maguire's are bringing out now, it's sort of making me uh, just lean more towards Maguire's to be fair. Do you know what I mean? It's all, it's all there. Uh, everything you need for a car, in my opinion, Maguire's do it. And that's all I'll be using really once all this other stuff gets used up. There are the old struts off the uh, hatch, found some reconditioned ones. So um, it's got like, the bonnet, the, the hatch now will hold up on, it, on its own weight <laughs> without having to be held up by me or my head. So that's sorted. Uh, yeah, there's one of the uh, but just these are just sort of what we've knocked up. Yeah, whatever. 
So and that's the actual centre caps what we've been what we're gonna use. There's some better ones than that to be honest, but they're just really rotor ones, just to make the wheel look nice rather than the hub hanging out the bloody wheel in the middle. Trusty Jack. Just got these for these off Amazon kids if you want to have a look. Same wrecking you see them on your car. Like nice rubbery textured stuff. Better I think they're about eight quid or a ten or something like that. You get about five. Really good bits of kit. And just sits on your jack there. Well, not just there. Sits on this bit here, the metal bit. What normally rips. And you put a metal to metal, that starts to tear up your seam. And the seam gets rusty and then it's got to be treated. But I've done all mine now. And it shouldn't happen again with those. Plus the back end I've been told to jack up with the um the back end I've been told to jack up with the uh, la, 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 the diff, the rear diff, which works a treat. And there's some control arms on the front that are good for jacking either side of the front up as well, rather than use the seam. The seam is obviously the easiest way of doing it. That's what they're it's there for, but I don't know. Uh, water in the garage. Well, these are the speakers we found in it. Definitely period, and they belong to the actual stereo that's in the car, this Corsoria, whatever they're called. Um, this is like a bit of a junk car I've got. I definitely recommend these folks. See Tech Trickle Chargers. You can just put them on over winter, leave them on, and they'll look after your battery. I've had on, I've had these on my cars now for a long time. Uh, they definitely work. A little radio tucked away in the corner. Let's see if we can find you a better one of them. That's probably the worst one I've shown you, I think. That's a better one of it there, look. Racing Heart. They're pretty crap, to be honest, but anything's better than nothing. I'm saying that, though. Um, tools for my trim. Just a bit of a quick water in the garage, and then I can get this next video flung off. I've shown you all that. That's what the old rotor wheels came in for, the old uh, EK9. Just keep stock stuff in it now. All number plates, torches propping them up. Uh, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, I've just fanned them out for you. We're fitting these in the garage somewhere once these tacks arrive. Old school Nissan badge, not these recent ones. And I've got a Michelin one there that might go up somewhere. Uh, yeah. This is OCD corner. Right, that's about all I'm going to show you in here for now. But hopefully this will be getting jacked up to like some sort of an office type thing where I can do a bit of filming and sort of chatting to myself and you. Hopefully. Um, yeah, so well, that's about it, folks. So I think I've done enough there for a video. So I'll get it sent out to you as soon as I can. So until next time, that's the old thingy by the way, the old uh, Scott Lothar Pulitzer, got a brand new one on it now, and it looks mint, uh, all cleaned out and fresh, ready for hopeful, and these gritters disappear off the roads, they seem to be hanging on this year with this cold weather, frost, so hopefully we'll be out of here soon, so from me and Pepe the Pulitzer, whatever you want to call them. I haven't made a name up for him yet, to be honest. Uh, but the new star of the show. And like I said, a lot more time to spend now sorting these videos out. You'll see with this video as well. I, like, I have put some uh, look at the intros and things. You'll see by the, the way the videos runs. Um, trying to sort a nice intro out and then get the videos more squared away, looking right. And then we should be able, because of the limited hours I'm looking at work now, more time to spend with the channel so hopefully we'll get you folks plenty of content and any interest anything you need to know obviously the usual crap pointy finger goes down in the description if you want to ask any questions about it but technically it's been here for two years the car has been stood for two years um, in well Birmingham the car came from um, it was imported in 2018 and I bought it January this year from the guys 
and it hasn't moved at the showroom, it hasn't been registered either. So I'm like technically the first owner in this country to own the car and have a sort of have the paperwork for it, V5. New owner. Right folks, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Or you've enjoyed the vid, whichever whichever way I put this content into it. And uh Hopefully I'll speak to you very soon with some more content. Ciao. Not ciao. Bye for now. Right, just gonna jump in a bit here. Um just let you know um what goes on at Dan's. Just do another quick one. What I've done I've compilated quite a few little videos into this into this one video. So you can have a see what it's gonna be about. But obviously we've been practicing intros and outros and all sorts of stuff, trying to sharpen the uh, channel up, make it look right. And this week Obviously, we'll be here a lot more. I'll diagnose some of these cars for you, let you know what's, what issues they have and what we're doing to them. Um, like I said, there's always different cars in here all the time. So that's literally what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you around some cars now, what I've filmed during the week and I just took this now just to let you know why they're on here with the other stuff that I've put into it as well. It's more like a a welcoming type video thing, just to let you know what we're, what we're about, and we are working on tidying the channel up as well, so you get some really nice videos, content. Obviously, that's paramount. Or you won't be watching. One second. Yeah, so we're going to be here a lot more as well. Now I've got more time. As well as content that I'll be bringing you on on the Pulsar as well. We have a nice uh, white uh, GTR into there for some uh, wheel alignment. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. You should be able to see it on a picture above or around me. Um, that's a stunning car. Uh, these are the things you just get in, you know, various days. Most of the stuff we work on here is Japanese, JDM, all Evos, Subarus. Um, Sylvia's, it's all JDM, get the odd German car in every now and then, uh, but you know, not as often as the JDM stuff, but um, you'll see that with the videos that will be coming through anyway, you'll see it's mainly all Japanese content, even though at the moment there's a bloody um, Ford Focus RS in here as well, um, old school, 1990 version, but still a nice car. Nice to see. Anything from the nineties for me, eighties, nineties, spot on. Anyway, so there you have it. Um, get on, on with this vid, and these are just the bits and clips I took from Dan's, and obviously we'll be neatening the videos up soon and concentrating on certain cars depending on what jobs they they're getting done. And any questions you need to ask Dan or me regarding any of the content, just fire away. Um, and please remember to like, comment and subscribe, I think they all keep saying. So, um, see how we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> see you later. Right, I'll get rid of my ugly mug now. I'm going to look at some of these cars that I'm going to be previewing over the next few weeks. Excuse my shape, by the way, it's terrible, that, isn't it? Finish work now, more time to spend with the videos and content, so... Quick look round, show you what's going on. There you go. I'm gonna get some mini content in, hopefully. Um, let you hear what how this runs. It's an absolute cracking little car, Cooper. That's all it is. Naturally aspirated. Put a straight through exhaust system on it and a um, K N O filter. And it sounds the nuts. Run over is beautiful. Nothing shabby. And then there's obviously these ones, converting to race cars. This one's just having the seats taken out of it. Another one over here. And this guy's going the whole hog. He's even took the sunroof out for a plastic sunroof. So he's definitely going weight reduction. And then more Evo 6s. And I'll get some proper content on this next week, content next week, because I'll have more time on my hands. Um, I'll go through all these at AMD and if I look right down the bottom there's even more so this is just the start of hopefully things to come 
So I'll just zoom in down the bottom. There you go. Dan's race car. More Evo fours content will be coming. And behind here is a nice little uh, Sylvia. Just let me bring this back out again now. What have I done here? What a muppet. Get back into this year. The sun can be a pain in the ass sometimes. The sun is a mint as well, believe it or not. And those damn, the gaffer. Here it is. Look at that little beaut. And this is a really nice car as well. Really nice. Not been in the country long. Guy who owns it spending a lot of money on it. Future soon. Let's just add a link fit to it. There's a gaffer again, sneaking out of the picture. Right, pause it there. And we're back. Right, so you'll be having a four. I'm not sure what that's having done on it, but like I said, next week we'll get a full itinerary down of all these cars, find out what they're having done. We can bring you some content then, hopefully. Here's an Evo 4 with the 8 looking spoiler on it. So another one, in for stuff. Dan's already been in this one, isn't it? And another one here, love this one, really clean car. Boost, Evo 7, one of my favourites, um, I think this here is another Evo, Evo 8 is it, yeah Evo 8, this is a nice clean car as well, it's been here a while now, excuse the actual rumbling of the uh, Have a little wander over to the workshop. I think there's one here on the move, more down by it. Yeah, I'm gonna get more down by it. Bollocks. Is even backing it in. The apprentice is here, Alex. <laughs> Dirtier than Dan. Dirtier than Dan. Yeah. And for all these Ford heads out there, bit of content for you fanboys. Up on the ramps there is the RS Turbo, 1989. In fact, no, it's not 1989, that is 1990 on a G. So I stand corrected. Customer's race car, that will be getting featured as well. That's currently running over 500 brake, but it needs to put it all back together. So another car we'll get involved with. I think it's a. Um, it was originally a. I can't even think what it was when it first came in. But that's another, another car to. Another car for another day. In that nice yellow Evo. And some of Dan's old stuff here as well. And Dan's race car. We'll leave it there for now. Speaking soon then.